Ukrainian and Russian armed forces are fighting extraordinarily bloody battles in the ruined eastern city of Bakhmut, but Ukrainian forces are still holding on, the Ukraine's military has said. Ukraine's military reports hundreds of attacks daily on the eastern front line as Wagner Group fighters claim to have made incremental gains in fiercely contested Bakhmut. Both militaries are waging a street by street and even house by house battle for control of the city, said Serhii Cherovati of the eastern grouping of the Ukrainian armed forces. He added that Moscow's troops launched an assault this weekend on the town of Hromove, which lies along Bakhmut's main supply route from Chasiv Yar to the west. Russia said that Wagner mercenary units supported by airborne troops had captured two more city blocks. Russian mill bloggers claim that Russian forces advanced in the northern, central and southern Bakhmut, including south of the Azom plant in central Bakhmut. The UK's defense ministry issued its daily intelligence update about the situation in Ukraine, focusing on the consequences of mining the country. Over 750 mine-related casualties among civilians have been reported since the start of the full-scale invasion. One in eight has involved a child. It will likely take at least a decade to clear Ukraine of mines. Mine-related civilian casualties continue to be reported daily in Ukraine. The most affected areas are Kherson and Kharkiv regions, areas Russia has previously occupied. With the arrival of spring and more people involved in agricultural activities, the risk of civilian mine incidents will increase.